don't have any regular presentation material. I personally am not an expert in composites. So after having heard two experts, one in fiber reinforced composites, another on the metal matrix component composites, all that uh, I can present is my association with certain aerospace projects in which composites were extensively used. I worked in this row earlier where composites were used for making uh, uh, motor cases for the upper stages in order to decrease the weight. Then I worked in the aeronautical development agency <coughs> where, as Shamra already mentioned, about 45% of the structure was made out of carbon paper composites and NAL played a major role in that. Then I worked in NAL where an all composite aircraft Hansa was built and we also have been using composites in the 14C passenger aircraft SARS. Let me just take the first example Hansa. <coughs> Everything was fine, we did uh, all the design, there was a certification requirement <coughs> that the total weight of the aircraft including the pilot, all the equipment, the structure, etc. should not exceed 750 kg. In that, a certain apportionment was made for the structure and we went through all the designs and the designer assured that the structure will be within that limit, the structural weight will be within that limit. But when actually made the component, that is the fuselage, the wing, the empennage, etc., it was about 30 to 40 percent higher. And the aircraft was not fit for certification. I am just pointing it out just to sort of highlight what uh, Dr. Dwarkar has said. When it comes to practical applications, <coughs> we have to think of many other factors also. It so happened it was a hand layer process, and the people who did the layer. They were very lenient with the resin. So the weight kept on building up and when you had to build the Mark II or the second prototype, extreme care was taken. The process control, the quality control, etc. And the machine shop people were not allowed to use even one gram of excess resin. So these kinds of problems we had really have to handle and this comes only through practical experience building more and more products, more and more structures, that is one issue. And one of the very important advantages of composites as all of you are aware is the number of parts reduced drastically. That is where the co-cured, co-bonded composite structures have been used in uh, LCA, developed at NAL, and that has <coughs> sort of sorted out many sort of fastening problems, attachment problems, etc. So this is one more area where a lot more importance needs to be given. All the benefits and advantages you in the composites community are very well aware. But you also have to look at some of the problems that we face. 